What's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to show you three new ways that you can create samples while you're making beats in MPC 2.0. So to kind of spell those out right quick, the three ways we're going to teach you, one is pad flattening, the second one is bouncing MIDI to audio, and the third is exporting audio using drag and drop. All of these ways create new samples that you can use immediately while you're making a beat. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, if you look at my screen, this is the beat I have loaded up. Should be familiar. Okay. Now, let's say I have this kick drum on pad A1. Or a snare, in this case. So, let's say I want to beef that up with some other sounds, but I don't want to have to keep dragging and dropping stuff in. Maybe I just want to take some of the stuff from like pad A2, A3, and A4 and merge it all onto that one pad. So, all I have to do is go to program edit. Pad A1 is selected. As you can see, there aren't layers for 2, 3, and 4. Let's change that. Alright, this is going to sound crazy, fair warning, but we're just showing you how to use it in practice. Alright, now let's take it even a step further and turn down and level some stuff. All right, turn down and level on the slap. Turn down the level on this. Alright, now I have a new really beefed up kick that I want. But I don't want it to look so crazy with all these four samples on there because then that leaves room for errors if I accidentally knock into a knob when I'm back on program edit. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my main screen and I'll flatten the pad. Which if you remember from our other tutorial, we're going to go to edit. Then we're going to go to program. Flatten pad. It's going to be A1. And we're going to call it beef since the kick has so much like girth to it or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now we have that new kick called Beef. And if you go to Sample Edit, it populated right here. So imagine if this was actually like a soul sample or something like that. You could do some really crazy stuff with that. Alright, so that's one way of doing it with pad flattening. Now we're going to see about bouncing MIDI to audio. So, let's say I want to bounce the synth track. Alright. I'm going to go back to edit. I'm going to go to track. And then I'm going to bounce this to sample. Not to a new audio track. A sample. Alright. Let's go back to sample edit. And notice it's saved as bounce pad. So again, if this is a sample or if this is someone singing, you can do the same thing without having to leave your session and then you could like time stretch it and chop it and do all that stuff to it and make something totally new out of it. Alright, so those are the first two ways to do it. The last way is really simple, right? Now, you can go ahead and go back to your main screen. And from here, let's say you want to export this to audio, right? 
you can actually go back. Let's say we want to do that with the drum track now. All right. All I'm going to do is going to go up to export audio at the right side of my screen. I'm clicking it. Now it's ready to be exported, but instead of exporting it to another DAW, it actually created a sample, right? So I can just go to the next part of my pad bank, find a blank pad, and then just drag it on there. In this case, I'm gonna use it to replace this pad right here. But notice when I clicked on the bet button and held it, you saw like an audio file pop up. So now it's called track 0112 and it's all on that one pad. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our uh, sample edit to see where it's at. Uh oh, looks like it made it, but there was no audio playing. Let's see if we can go back and fix that. Hmm, okay, since it doesn't want to do it with that one, let's go ahead and do it on track two. Alrighty, I'm gonna switch this to the blank pad. All right, so it did at that time. Now let's go back to sample edit and see if we can find that sample. And there you have it. With those three ways, you just created new samples without having to leave your session. So now you can be even more creative with what you were doing. So with that said, we're gonna close out. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. And we'll see you next week, all right? Peace.